So you're selling at school, but now you need to pack your bag because you want to pack it the best way so you can take the most amount of chips, snacks, and candy. So I'm going to teach you four different ways how to pack four different bags in this video. So make sure you stay tuned towards the end. Subscribe if you sell at school. But let's get to it. So I'm going to teach you how to pack two different duffel bags, one smaller jawstring bag, and a backpack. So let's go. All right, so this is the stuff we're selling. You can see we got the chips, and we got the dockies, and then we got the Gatorades. And then look at my whole stock. Now I got a video coming. Where should you get your stock at, online or in stores? So I got you guys with that. I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of that, but let's start getting to the packing. So this is a little bag. It's a little drawstring Adidas bag. Now, I love this bag. This is where I started back in sixth grade in middle school. I used to take this bag and just put it over my backpack. It fits everything. So now I'm just packing up the chips. I'm counting to make sure I get 20 chips in there. You feel me? Now I'm just packing them in there. And I put the Hot Cheetos at the bottom because those don't crack that easy. And then I put the Doritos and the Funnies at the top because those crack easy and they're easier to pop. So I'm just putting them at the top, pushing it down to make sure I fit 20 chips. And then I'll put the shirt over because I want to reduce the noise, keep everything in its place. And when I zip close it up, People see the white shirt, they'll be like, oh, it's just a shirt. So I'm tapping the bag, make sure there's no noise. Now I'm putting sour punch straws anywhere and everywhere I can because these are hit, bro, like I'm saying. So I put them in the little zipper. I'm putting them on the side, trying to fit them, make sure they're not seen, though, because that thing is see-through. But I'm just putting them, tightening them up in there. There's like a little crevice on there. And now that gum container, I put the cash in there so the dollars are crisp, you feel me? Be it, tighten it up, make sure everything's good and this bag is ready, let's go. All right, so bag number two. Now this is a duffel bag, you feel me? So you see I got the shirts at the bottom so I can create that structure and create that like a soft pillow. So I'm putting the sour punch straws at the bottom because those are hit and I'm just stacking up the chips. I'm counting it up because I'm giving this bag to another person to sell for me. This isn't my bag yet. My bag's towards the end. So I'm just counting up the chips, make sure, like I said, Putting the chips that are gonna crack the easiest at the top because you don't want them at the bottom because they're gonna get cracked, smushed, and the bag might even pop. I'm giving you free game for real. So now I put some more shirts and more shirts just to make sure they all fit. And so the bag will fill up, you feel me? And if anybody opens it, then they'll be like, oh, it's just shirts. And I put that cardboard on the side, you feel me? And also had that gum container so you could put the cash in there so it could be crisp, you feel me? So I'm putting more cardboard on the sides to create that structure so the bag isn't just all flimsy and floppy and just crackling and making a bunch of noise. So we zip it up, put the velcro strap on, and this bag is ready. Let's go. All right, so now we got my backpack. You see, I'm putting that shirt at the bottom just so I could create that little squishiness. And then I have this little other bag so everything won't be falling around. I just put everything in. You can see I'm getting like all the cakes and other stuff, the Rice Krispies. Now I'm cutting this cardboard so I can put it on the sides of the actual little bag so it can create that structure so nothing can get smushed. You feel me? But so this backpack complements me on my main duffel bag. So I just put extra stuff that doesn't fit in my duffel bag in this backpack. Now drop a like if you're getting some value from this because this is free game for real. So yeah, so my main duffel bag is coming up though so stay tuned for that but yeah you can see all the stuff i'm putting in here i just got these gums i was just testing them out they didn't really sell so i just dropped them but yeah so i just still put them through them in there only like sold like two or three but now i'm getting the rice krispies he's selling pretty good so yeah and then i also got the famous and cookies i got those those good good sellers too as well and then those didn't sell the gancitos i don't know if i'm saying that right but they didn't really sell now i got the cupcakes and the twinkies and the ding dong now these ding dongs they used to hit but they ain't hit it anymore so I'm, i switched them out dropped them you feel me so i'm just packing up you see i put the soft stuff at the top and you feel me i you guys already noticed put the shirt at the top so create that cushion to reduce the noise it's just like when people open the bag they'll be like oh it's just a shirt all right so i put it in the corner you can see my my school stuff is still at the bottom and i put the airheads in there uh, and then you can either use another box and i got some more sour punch straws because those are hit like i'm telling you and i put another shirt on top just so like when i open my backpack to get my computer or whatever out and then i put the gatorades and the lotion on the side to so have even more drinks but the backpack is done let's go into the duffel bag all right so this is my main bag you feel me so i got the cardboard at the bottom to just create that first structure so the bag won't be all flopped because it flops over because I've been using it a lot so I put the Gatorades at the bottom I got the red and the blue you feel me see I stacked them I'm able to fit like eight nine Gatorades bro and then I put the shirt over to make sure the chips don't fall in the holes or in between the Gatorades get cracked or pop you feel me so now I'm putting the hot shields at the bottom because those don't crack that easy and I'm just stacking them in there I'm not just throwing them in there because I want to stack them in there precisely so I could fit as much chips as I can in there you feel me so then I put the Doritos and the Funnies at the top because those crack easy and they pop easy and I'm just throwing the extra chips I could fit and I push them down and be able to fit some more stuff so now i'm putting the sour punch straws the gancitos the cookies the twinkies the ding dongs pushing them down more to make sure they fit now i'm putting the cardboard to create that structure so everything doesn't fall out of place you feel me and then i just put the shirt over to reduce the noise to make sure everything stays in place i'm just tucking it nice and neatly so if anybody peeks in my bag they'll just see a shirt only so free game so you zip it up 
You feel me? And we done. All right, so I showed you how to pack those bags, but now we're gonna go into the pros and cons and which bag is right for you. So we're gonna do three bags, little drawstring bag, the duffel bag, and backpacks. All right, so we started off with the backpack because I think everybody has a backpack. Now, the pros and cons of a backpack. Now, I'm just gonna assume you have like a large backpack where you can fit snacks in, so let's just stick with that. So pros and cons of a backpack. I mean, there's not really no cons. It's just your bag, your bag will be like heavier to carry, you feel me? If you're gonna put drinks and snacks in there. So there's no really cons with that. Let's go over to the little jawstring Adidas bag now. Now, the pros of this is it's small, it's minimal, and it's good to start out with. But the cons is it's small, you can't take that much stuff. The pros and cons of a double bag. Now, the pros, you can take a bunch of stuff, you can make more money, just fit like everything in there. The cons, it is bigger, so you have a higher chance of getting caught. But I think the pros will outweigh the cons, so it's better. Choose which one you like. Comment any questions you guys got down below. But yeah, let's go.